All right, making a quick uh, YouTube tutorial for those of you guys who are doing LED wall systems and are trying to move your cabinet files over to your Novastar processors. Um, this is not sending your RCGF files to your cabinets. Notice I do not have an LED wall connected to the processor at all. All I'm doing is trying to load the RCGF and RCGFX files into the Novastar and store them internally here so that I don't need my computer if I need to make changes. So what you're what you're essentially doing is instead of just uploading the uh, configuration file straight to the uh, re receiving cards, you're actually uploading it to your controller and storing it on your controller so that you can recall it from the controller itself. There is no YouTube video out there that shows or explains this process and now the VX4S manuals have changed, uh, or I'm sorry, the software has changed and the manuals are not correct. Um, so I apologize for the rudimentary video here, just using my cell phone. Um, this is something that I knew was possible, I could just never figure it out and I finally, with the help with, uh, of some friends, figured out how to do this. So what you're gonna do is make sure your files are local on here. Um, again, you're gonna wanna make sure your RC FG or your RCFGX files are on there. Um, those should come from your uh, manufacturer. And what the uh, first thing you're gonna do is log into your Novastar um, LCT. Uh, I'm running uh, 5.3. Side note, you cannot run the software on a Mac. Then you're gonna log in uh, under user um, and go to advanced login 666. And then you're going to go to tools. Controller cabinet configuration file import. Mine are already in there because I've already added them, but you would click on add configuration files. I'll show you what that looks like. It pops up whatever is available. And then you're going to then save the changes and then send to your hardware. Um, and then once you do that, you're going to come over to here and you'll see your Novastar software screen will flash receiving RCGF files. So then you're going to go down to advanced settings. Then you're going to go down to cabinet settings. And now you will notice if you go into load RCFG files, your actual tile files are in there, your cabinet files. So now you can instantly recall them. Uh, and what's handy about this is, A, you don't need your computer if you for some reason um, you know, lose your software or something happens with the controller. But also, for our wall, we've got two different configuration files, one for indoors, one for outdoors. So I can instantly recall these right from here instead of hooking the computer up and uh, refreshing each tile uh, that way. So just a quick note, um, again, on this is such a simple thing, but you cannot find a video anywhere else on there. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks.